Hi, Air Signs. It's Lulu. Mm. And this is your weekly mudra reading. Thank you. This is Gemini, Aquarius. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Okay. Angels, what do you have for my beautiful Air Signs? Come on, girls. You have for my beautiful air signs. Thank you. Ooh. <clears throat> Awakening. Hmm? I like it. Why do I like it? Because it has much to do with... Um, this may be a change in diet, but it has a lot to do with the heart, right? And I believe the energies that have been ushered in is taking us more into our heart space anyway. So... Many of you may be receiving um, impressions about a new love or um, some reconciliations that may be coming through. You may be opening yourself up more with this too, to partnerships, to um, duality, balancing out your masculine and feminine energies, awakening to that, right? I also feel that there's gonna be a lot of forward movement. There may be some type of karma that you have cleared up or you're moving into a new cycle where you will be opening up more to your process so that you can clear up more karma in your life at this time. So if you um, have recently, recent is six to 12 months, I think. But um, you may have a soulmate connection. There may be a soulmate connection or um, some type of new contract uh, you are about to embark upon here. I'm not going to be your sign at that time. <laughs> Y'all already know I'd be confused about what is it that I want. Do I want it? Do I want it? Now, maybe I need somebody that is as confused as me. And we can work it out. i got six tracks in my head. Now, <clears throat> this is also um, learning to um, relieve yourself of um, certain uh, views the way that you see things is changing the way that you do things is changing I also feel here that many of you may have why do I feel like this here uh, this lower portion right many of you may have uh, been trying to hide your feelings or someone is trying to hide their feelings from you or you maybe you're hiding your feelings from yourself but at the end of the day, what I'm seeing here is that there's going to be some type of release or opening. And the reason I say that is because this looks like a heart to me, but they're covering the top part. Like, I'm only going to give you this much. What are you doing, Earth Signs? Overthinking it. Now, I don't know why I'm always seeing sexual stuff. I think some of y'all know why, because I'm like, I'm not going to talk about it. Now, There may be um, a change in diet for the womb, and this could be for the man or the woman, because, you know, as we know, if you're having unprotected sex with a man, he needs to be eating right, okay? That's why the skin plays an important part on a number of things. It means a whole lot deep in the spirit of a person, so, or the health. So, there may be um, some gynecological things that come up that may have you to realize that your connection with your womb or your connection overall with your femininity, whether you're a man or a woman, is going to um, be even more so awakened. So you may be having some type of changes in your life, not necessarily just physical. It may be just your appearance. It may be the way that you um, look. Uh, it, I feel like this is a transformation. Like many of you may have been in a, a metamorphosis, going through a metamorphosis, and you're finally ready to, um, th well, the universe is finally allowing that you um, are able to really bloom and step out into this new truth that you will be in. I feel that there's been a lot of thinking here. There's been a lot of delegating here. Something needs to be compromised. I feel like but, um, once you come to the meeting, a meeting of the minds with someone, something will be compromised or needs to be compromised as well. <clears throat> I ain't never seen that. So, 
Maybe you're dealing with a Leo because I done crossed my legs. Those are only people that really just get me to cross my legs like that. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo or you have Leo in your chart very strong and you may be awakening to those energies as well. So you may have a change of um, how you do things. Your confidence may be boosted, right? Um, there may be um, some fierce, uh, you may be more fierce, okay? It could be your walk. <laughs> But um, just your approach to things may be stronger than what they have been. Um, your ability, maybe you were stagnant or complacent, and now you're ready to take things, like grab the bull by the horns and get it popping. That's what they see it. Now, this is a late 30 retink. Now, um, I am seeing here where some of you may be trying to block, you may have blocked someone on social media, you may have blocked someone from your energy, um, someone may be prying. There's a prying eye, right? It's down here. It, and it's not even an eye, but that's what it looks like. A prying eye. Like you're trying to stop someone from seeing something now that you are awakened to some truths about um, certain things. Maybe you've been using your discernment when it comes to certain people. Instead of waiting for them to reveal themselves, you already know to set certain boundaries. And that's what you've been trying to do, but they're still trying to come in or get in, right? I also feel that... Um, There's some residual energy um, that you are coming out of when it comes to um, who you hold accountable for certain things in your life, right? Um, you're burning that away, but it's taking a little longer than it should. And the reason why it's taking a little longer than it should is because sometimes you feel like many of you may have had a lot of dreams about being shot at um, shooting, right? And with those shootings, that's um, really just feeling like... Um, people are coming for you, feeling uh, judged. I forgot the other uh, thing that that means, but... <clears throat> overall what I really get is that you are doing the best that you can now that you have awakened to a certain situation how things really work and really come into grips of what you are accountable for what the other person may have been accountable for whether it's a parent friend whoever it is however that applies in your life and now you are just moving into a space of contentment you're moving into the space of feeling whole and complete and knowing that you are ready for the next cycle in your life and by doing so you are burning away these energies right um, it feels as though it's going to take some time it's rolling off your it's rolling down your spine um, it's rolling down your spine off your back rolling down the spine and off the back rolling down the spine the spine is down the back Whatever it is, this is what's giving you that confidence. You are um, releasing yourself from certain types of structures, or certain types, uh, certain ways of being, which is giving you more power. You're feeling empowered. Okay, so maybe that's what that is. But you're feeling more empowered here. I also feel that having peace with a, a child or peace with your children is going to be very important as well. Um, there's a need to uh, do more listening than talking, okay? <laughs> do more listening than talking this week. Um, I also feel that with this um, energy that's coming off of this card, if you're having any issues with your pinky finger or something with your pinky, it may even be your smallest child, pinky, 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 and the brain. One of my favorite things coming into this year. What we plan to do, Pinky? Take over the world. I just like Pinky in the brain. Move forward. But something with the Pinky, something with possibly the youngest child here, feeling left out, feeling um, like um, they may be going through some issues at school that, that you need to listen to. You may not have had no clue. They just start wetting the bed. You didn't know why. Well, that's one of the first signs. Move forward. Clarify this awakening for the air signs, please. Excuse me. Hey, that is rude. But I stay drinking something. Whatever. Y'all be wanting me to be drinking alcohol. I can't even do it and act a fool. I'm not doing it. I did that enough with y'all. Get on blind acting a fool on alcohol. No. My tolerance is low. It's this low. I can drink this much and I'm drunk. Moving forward. What is this awakening for the air signs? No longer being a pessimist, no longer being um, afraid or fearful. Like, um, even though this is heart energy, I feel, there's something to do with the sacral that um, is coming up real strong with this as well. So there may be a connection to those, of course. Um, there may even be a coming together of you and a soulmate that has that energy. Like, there are things that <clears throat> are you are... That's the connection between you and this person. What you are learning from this person has certain has to do with those chakras, right? 
Oh, shit. So... There's um, some crying. You've been awakened to some type of situation and there's been some type of crying. There's been some emotional turmoil and uh, something happens out of nowhere that really takes you, takes you by storm. That's cold blood air fish you got on, honey. I need this in my life. <laughs> okay, so with this uh, Knight of Cups, Knight of Chalices, uh, in uh, reverse, I also feel as though some of you may have gotten to the point where you have given up on your spirituality, your spiritual practices. Some of you may have come to the point where um, you were dealing with this person. Someone may, if this is someone outside of you, they have been working in their lower energies, very immature, playing mind games. You ain't got time for that. You woke up on their ass. And it caused a storm. It caused a tower moment. There is something huge coming in here. I feel as though whatever games have been played, someone is getting their karma. If it is you that is getting your karma, take it and move forward. Learn from it and move forward. Grow from it and move forward. Because at the end of the day, that's what you came to do. You can't sit up here and be bitter. You can't sit up here and be bitter about something you played a part in. Okay? When you work, when you're dealing with other people's teamwork, whether you like it or not, we weren't doing the same thing. No, I was doing this. And, well, that was your part. You saying what you were doing, that's your part. <clears throat> I don't even ring the bell on Mojo's. Our sign's gonna light my ass up in the comments, honey. All right, so what is this tower moment? <clears throat> Looking back on a failed situation, a failed um, feeling, uh, someone been drinking a whole lot right here, and the other person walked off on them, think they were gonna leave. That's how it is, look. Look how she walked off on his ass. Like, got that Leo energy in her, Aries or whoever. I'm at this bitch. That's what she said. Now then, clarify this tower. I really feel like, um, Whoever this is that is working in their lower energy and now you are open to it, that may be the person that you blocked as well. Here, <clears throat> there's the high priestess. You stare at them right in the eyes and let them know what is what. You let them know who, they, who you really are. You let them know that you know the truth of a situation. Here, whatever needs to be revealed will be revealed. You are the high priestess, possibly, or high priest. But overall, this is that duality coming in again with that 11. Is it 11? I think it is. Moving forward. Overall, these are some deep cards, and I'm trying not to go there and no moves are free. But I know I'm, the mid months need to come on. So this is what I'm getting here. For those of you who are connected to the Fey realm, I don't think she's Fey, but Fey up in her. Um, for those of you connected to the Fey realm, I feel like they are really working with you to help strengthen you so that you can get out of this situation. Some of y'all were in a toxic situation, and it's time for you to take, yep. Yep. So you, what I feel like here is that you will be moving on. You will be standing in your truth. You've built a lot. You're building a lot, and you're going to continue to work on that. You're looking at what is, um, what, what works, what doesn't work. A lot of reassessing of yourself in certain situations that you've been in. There may even be a reliving or uh, of of the past, a reliving of things that have gone on in the past, and now they are in your face, and you're just like, okay, I see how that shit worked there. It happens like that. There is no way that you will be able to understand and, 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 and real and okay. There is no way that you um, will um, get to uh, later. You probably will, honey. Listen, you can only address and correct as you go, forgive as you go. With what is right at the forefront that you really are in tune with your star player and see things for what they are in order for you to grow and knowing what you... Because it changed and, and the same thing can pop up and it'll be something different that you needed to learn. Hope I expressed it right. Now. When it comes to your finances, you may have taken a hit on your finances here or you are reevaluating your finances. You're reevaluating what... Uh, reassessing what it is that you want to put forward and how you want to move forward so that's your awakening the awakening is mental clarity inspiration and awakening to the truth the benefits are that um, it directs breath to your heart chest and ribs assist the immune system cultivate stability inspiration and insight this mudra does right now then, you will hold your hands like this. Bring your hands close to your heart center. Lengthen your spine and relax your shoulders. Your focus or affirmation is divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. Divine knowledge and inspiration awaken my highest truth. So mote it be. 
So if you are in a situation where you're dealing with someone toxic, it's gonna, everything is about to hit the fan. The shit about to hit the fan. Many of you are really having to face um, possibly. Um, uh, oh, many of you have uh, maybe facing someone that um, did you wrong on whatever level, whether it was rape, molestation. Um, someone may have lied on you and almost got you. You almost caught a charge. It's right here. You done spent all this money or it's planning on spending money to get out of a situation now that you are like staring. I feel like y'all are staring the truth in the face. Ain't no way around it. Not, no nothing. It's right there. Okay. All right. Let me go on and finish these other ones because I feel like talking tonight. And apparently I'm just going to be running my math tonight. So let's go see what the fire signs want. <laughs> 